Brandon Ayuk finished wide receiver 36 last year, 56 receptions, 84 targets, 826 yards, five touchdowns, 16.94% of the target share. Thoughts on Brandon Ayuk? If I'm not going to get Debo, then I'm not going after a receiver in the 49er wide receiver room until we get way late. And if we don't cover him, I'll throw his name in. Um, throw his name in. Go on Jennings. Like, uh, sneaky, sleeper, late-round pick type thing. Like, you're not investing a whole lot of capital in him. But that's the only other one. I'm not messing around with Ayuk. I'm not messing around with, with you know, this guy did well in training camp and everything else. It is Debo or it is Juwan Jennings with, like, my last pick in the draft. I feel like I was burned by Brandon Ayuk last year. Uh <laughs> <laughs> like it just feels like I, I think I had him on one of the leagues that I was in. And it just it was just so ugh. It, it just was so so I you know I know we don't we try not to talk about recency or you know try to eliminate recency bias, um, but I I can't help but uh, use it here. So I I am also not going to be in on Brandon Ayuk I, wide receiver thirty nine oh, coming off the board. Um, 96th overall. So right at the end of the eighth round, beginning of the ninth round was, is where you would put that draft pick there. And Rashad Bateman going one pick before him. I'd rather have Rashad Bateman who absolutely would be the number one wide receiver. Uh, obviously probably not pass catching option there in Baltimore, but wide receiver option. He's the, he's the wide receiver one there. And I'd rather have that over the wide receiver two. And by the way, Baltimore, San Francisco, both of those teams, have that incredibly small passing pie. I'd rather have the guy that I think is going to get a bigger target share in Bateman over Ayuk. So I'm going to be out on Ayuk. Um, but I do think that he does have, at least performs at that wide receiver 39 or slightly above it. I think he can outperform that ADP just slightly. 